Vážení priatelia, vitajte 70. jubilejnej koncertnej sezóne Slovenskej filharmonie. Tento týždeň vám ponúkneme na otváracích koncertoch dve zaujímavé diela, klavírny koncert číslo 23 Wolfganga Amadea Mozarta a symfóniu číslo 7 Gustava Mahlera. Za dirigentským pultom bude stáť šéf dirigent Slovenskej filharmonie James Judd. Thank you. I'm particularly excited about this program for two reasons, Mozart and Mahler. Mozart, because although this concerto is played so often, everyone knows it so well, it's the first opportunity I've had in my life to work together with this really, really great uh, pianist, legendary pianist, Leon Skaya. So I'm so interested in this collaboration between myself, the orchestra, and this um, masterful musician. Then for the second half, Mahler's Seventh Symphony is a of all Mahler's great symphonies, was neglected in a way and misunderstood, I think, for decades, if you like. And it's only in the last sort of 10 years that it's resurging into the uh, arena with various conductors. In a way, it's Mahler's most personal symphony, although at the beginning you might not realize that. Um, It's unusual in its structure Uh, since we have in the middle these incredible Nachtmusiks, music that comes from a, a kind of giant chamber music, strange other world, not on the earth, something completely out there in, in space with strange creatures and strange and wonderful human emotions but transposed into these extraordinary characters first and last movements are huge kind of um, structurally complex pieces. First movement has a very famous tenor tuba solo uh, and goes through, as with other Mahler symphonies, a whole gamut of expression and emotions. The last movement of the symphony has by many people been described as the most problematic and almost people have dismissed it. Why? Because it inhabits so many different worlds and memories of Mahler. It starts off and finishes in a kind of fanfare-like way, a very grandstanding kind of glamorous orchestral way, but quickly disappears into very subtle folk music and lenders, memories of, um, of the simple life, uh, but through a kind of nightmarish perspective. And that nightmare the kaleidoscopic nightmare becomes apparent when Mahler seems to relive memories of the opera house, memories of other composers, but in the most bizarre uh, caricature-like way. So you have these elements going on and the, the difficulty for and the fun for a conductor is binding all of this together, all of this music together to try to understand the brilliant concept of Mahler from the first note to the last. Pozývame vás vo štvrtok 25. a v piatok 26. októbra na otváracie koncerty jubilejnej 70. koncertnej sezóny Slovenskej filharmonie.